Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to check out something super cool and only 20 bucks. Um, before we jump into the video, let me tell you more about this video sponsor PDF Element. PDF Element is this great um, Adobe alternative if you would like to edit, um, create or sign your PDF documents. Um, as you know, PDF documents are not actually editable by default. You either need to go ahead and buy the Adobe product or third-party products like the PDF element. PDF element is actually really simple to use. It's quite intuitive as well. Um, you may find the links down below for their products. They are having a 50% off, I believe, these days. All the details will be down below. Um, it's so easy to actually edit your documents using PDF element. You can just simply drag and drop, or you can just use the finder and then open the PDF that you would like to edit or sign. So it's pretty easy, pretty useful. And again, it offers really high value for the buck. So once again, thank you PDF Element and Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Back to the original content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what we have here. I mean, you already read the title, so you know that there will be a GoPro vlogging case. This here used to be the most popular GoPro vlogging case. This is made of metal. You can see it here. It says here six here. This is made of metal. I mean, it is strong, I give you that it feels strong, but it's massive and the weight that it puts on your setup is super annoying. So, a brand that I've been keeping an eye on for a long time came up with a great solution. Here is the Ulanzi GoPro vlogging case, I think version two. So what happens here is that, first of all, let me give you some background information. When you wanna vlog with a GoPro, you suddenly realize that the audio sucks. Even though they improved the audio drastically with the seventh edition, with the GoPro Hero 7 Black, it is still subpar as its best. So what you do is you go ahead and buy this audio adapter. Yes, I did all sorts of DIY projects with this. That's why it has all sorts of glue residue on it. And you attach it by unplugging the like, side door of GoPro Hero 7 and it's so easy, but then you end up with this thing dongling around. So what Ulenzi brings into the picture is this case. So the case actually comes like this. Let me show it how it works. So this is it. This is the case. Um, you see there is no marking on it, which is awesome. If you want, you can customize. If you want to have a lower profile, just keep it like this. And I'm gonna show you the best microphone that goes with it. Putting it together is actually super easy. Here is a pro tip. Do not put your camera first, but put the audio adapter first because once you put the audio adapter, it thickens and camera actually puts some pressure on it and keeps it in place beautifully. But it doesn't mean that there is dangling or anything. It's just a tip that I would like to provide you. So how we put it together is super easy. You just roll the cable from here. You put the audio thingy. You see, it doesn't already get in quite easily, which is a good thing because the pressure keeps it in place. So it's already here and you see it's on the right side so that it actually the cutout is this way and then you open the back door. There is again a second tip here as you see there is a marking on the corner. When you're opening it, it's not easy to open it as such but when you put a little pressure here, it releases it and puts it on the right rail and it works beautifully. Here is my GoPro Hero 7. I'm putting it in place. I'm plugging the whoop audio jack and I mean you can see here that I'm actually doing it in reverse that's what she said <laughs> well it's really easy to get it in the cover like you apply the same pressure so that it gets into the rails once it's in the rails you're ready to go so which microphone should go with this setup is an important question let me show you my favorite first my favorite is this ceremonic mic it is actually super low profile and it performs pretty good. I'm gonna put up a vlog soon, so subscribe to my channel to see the performance of this thing. And by the way, I'm starting a series of vlogs, so I'm going to test a different gear every day, different microphones, different cameras, so do not forget to subscribe and you get to see all sorts of minimalist setups. So if you think Ceremonic is not enough, you have a massive YouTube channel, you wanna be more professional, you can go ahead and use a Rode Medio Micro. 
Road Media One Micro is like everyone's favorite basically so you cannot go wrong with it you put it up like this it blocks the camera a little bit even though there is some height here if this is not enough you can just go ahead and add some extension here i'm going to show it to you now it's not on my desk but basically you can also use it with this i believe yeah this would what if I just rotate the thingy a little bit? No, it will definitely get in the way. So you can either give it a little trim here <laughs> or you just raise it a little bit with something else. Um, or what you can do is actually, usually people log outside, but you can just ah, get rid of the dead cat and use it like this. This is also an option, by the way. It's not like, it's impossible but usually when you're outside there is wind so you can go like this but it's against the idea of having something low profile because when you have such thing as potato chat clearly demonstrates people love to pet this tub so if you want to pay more for a similar quality you can go ahead and buy Rode Video Mic what was it called? My Go. I actually got it with my camera. It's like, it's the same thing basically, twice the size. Then it doesn't come with the windscreen, so you gotta pay for the windscreen as well. So, like, 50 or dollars more, and you get the similar quality to this one. You got the idea. Don't buy the video mic. Go, go for the video micro, which is really like everyone's favorite. Um, so, going back to my favorite setup, we just put it here and you can just get a very very like uh basic tripod here i added this thing but you don't need it because you're vlogging so your camera will be up you can add this or not but it's like the cheapest uh selfie stick i can find i added the gopro adapter here let me get it on camera and once you put it up 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 up, 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 up. I'm not good at this. Yes, once you put it up, you have a very low profile GoPro vlogging setup. I think this is really cool. If you're especially filming in a like a bright day, GoPro does perfect. Um, when you think about this guy, yes, it is true that you can use your 52 millimeter threads here, but hey, I don't even know where my filters are because I've never used this thing. Um, so I think with a GoPro, it's not customary to have the thingy. I mean, higher shutter speed won't kill you, honestly, if you're logging outside with a GoPro. I'm sure you have another camera uh, available somewhere else. Or you can grab an Osmo Pocket and film yourself like I'm doing right now. This entire video is actually shot on Osmo Pocket, so let me know what you think. The audio is not actually from Osmo Pocket because my audio adapter is not here yet, but once it's available, I'll just plug it straight on to Osmo Pocket and get some great footage with it. I told you that I've been following Ulenzi for a while, and it's not a lie. Look, I have some Ulenzi products already, like they have this thing too, the U-Grip thingy which is quite useful, especially when I'm filming with my other camera. I'm using an M50 usually when I'm getting some cool shots, B-roll, follow shots. This is working pretty good. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below so you can click and grab yours. This video is shot on Osmo Pocket in 4K30, manual settings. I have 160 shutter speed and 400 ISO because it's a dark room, but I'm gonna edit the footage a little bit and see if it actually works well. Well, we were working on GoPros, but hey, GoPro has a new competitor, so why not test it out when I'm especially reviewing something related to GoPro. All right, guys, I think it's already quite a long video. Thank you very much for watching, and obviously, see you on the next one. Arrivederci.